Oh man, the day has finally arrived. Time to go to my tattoo appointment. See you later. Wait a minute, you're leaving empty-handed? Yes, so what? It's just getting a tattoo. Well, you're right, but realistically, you should be bringing a bag of essential items with you to make that tattoo session go much, much easier. Wait, really? What type of essential item should I be bringing to my tattoo appointment? Well, not me. Don't worry. You're going to want to grab your special bag because in today's video, we're going to be talking about all of the essential items that you're going to want to bring to your next tattoo appointment. Ugh, that was all a little cringy but the video informative so you're gonna want to stick around but hey real quick leave a comment below on what your next tattoo is going to be i love to hear but hey welcome back or welcome to mainly man tv my name's mike and on this channel i help educate you in the realm of tattoos so if that's kind of stuff you're looking for consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that bell notification just so you don't miss the thing. I wanna start off by saying that one of the worst possible things that can happen when you go to get your tattoo is being unprepared. Think about it, most tattoos, they can take a while and you don't wanna be that person that is stuck in a tattoo chair for hours without being prepared. So with that being said, let's get into these essential items that you wanna to bring to your next tattoo appointment. So the first item that you wanna make sure that you have when you're heading to your tattoo appointment or really anywhere is your wallet. Just your wallet alone carries many essential things that you're gonna need to get your tattoo. The first being your ID. Most all professional tattoo shops will not tattoo you unless you have some form of photo ID. And also you'll need that photo ID to sign off for your tattoo. Also that ID shows proof of age. Now all different parts of the world have all different age restrictions for you to get a tattoo but most tattoo shops will not tattoo somebody unless they are over the age of 18. Now, if you are under the age of 18, you will need a parent or guardian to sign off for your tattoo. And the other thing that you wanna make sure that you bring that is in your wallet is, of course, that money. Now, I know this might sound like common sense, but you wouldn't believe how many people I know that showed up to their tattoo appointment without any form of money. Like, that is a no-no. Yeah, um, you can't get your tattoo without having money. Yeah, you're gonna wanna bring money. Oh, and also, don't be that person that brings the exact amount of what your tattoo artist quoted you to the tattoo appointment. You always wanna bring extra. Sometimes tattoos, they take a little bit longer than expected, or maybe your tattoo artist freed up some time and he could tattoo you longer. You want to make sure you have that extra money to cover that cost. And don't forget to bring actual cash. Now you can tip your tattoo artist on your credit card, but I think I could speak for all tattoo artists and say that they prefer cold hard cash right then and there. Okay, so the next essential item that you're gonna wanna bring to your tattoo appointment is reference photos. Now you can print out those reference photos to have them on hand, or what I personally like to do is to make sure I have a photo album saved of all the reference pictures on my actual phone. Now realistically, you and your tattoo artist should have went over the reference photos already and have them off to the side, before, you know, your actual tattoo appointment. But like I said earlier, you don't wanna show up to a tattoo appointment unprepared. So just make sure you have those reference photos with you. Having those supportive reference photos with you on hand for you to get the best tattoo possible, you wanna make sure you have them. So yeah, don't forget those Jonskis. Jonskis, <laughs> that's a real Philly word for you. Okay, so the next essential item that you wanna make sure you bring to your next tattoo appointment is a comfortable, change of clothes. Like I touched on earlier, most tattoos, they can take a while. So while you're in that chair, you wanna be as comfortable as you could possibly be. You don't need to be all dressed up to go get a tattoo. It's not a fashion show. You're there to get an awesome tattoo. Comfort is key when you're sitting in that chair for long hours. Now, for example, me, when I went to go get my sleeve tattoo done, I made sure that I brought a change of clothes, which was a tank top and also a pair of sweatpants, and I would change right before I got into that tattoo chair. Now, not only was I comfortable, but also I didn't have to worry about the materials of the shirt rubbing up against my new tattoo. Think about the location of where you're gonna be getting tattooed, and then pick out the proper clothes for it. Leg tattoo, bring shorts. Arm tattoo, bring a tank top. Neck tattoo, you're gonna wanna wear a turtleneck. 
Ah, you're paying attention. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Another reason why bringing an extra pair of clothes is essential to your next tattoo appointment is because that damn ink, it literally gets everywhere. Between the tattoo needles splashing ink everywhere, or just because there's simply so much ink around you, you don't want to be walking out that tattoo appointment looking like you lost the fight to the sludge monster or muck from Pokemon. Nerd reference. So this next group of essential items that you want to make sure you bring to your next tattoo appointment, and trust me, it's super important. And those items are things that just make you not stink. When you are getting tattooed, you and your tattoo artist are literally like very close to each other. Like literally, they are leaning into you to make sure they're getting all those precise lines and details perfect so you don't want to be stinking so that first item that you're going to want to bring with you is your deodorant now before even walking out to your house to your tattoo appointment you should have already applied some deodorant but you should and trust me you want to bring it with you to your tattoo appointment our bodies tend to sweat a lot when we get tattooed and it's because of how much trauma is being caused to our body when getting tattooed. Sounds gross, but it is completely normal. But you don't wanna be sweating through your deodorant and then getting all types of stinky and then your tattoo artist doesn't even wanna be around you. So having that deodorant with you, if you need to reapply, do it. Now these other things that you're gonna to wanna to make sure you bring is simply to make you have some fresh minty breath. And those two things are bringing some mouthwash and some gum. Now I personally always bring a travel size mouthwash bottle with me to my tattoo appointment. I'll put it in my bag and right before I get into the chair, I'll hit the bathroom, rinse out my mouth and trust me, it goes a long way. And also I'll chew some minty fresh gum. Like I said earlier, when getting tattooed, you and your tattoo artist, you guys are pretty close to one another. And during that time, you wanna be having conversations and building relationships with them. Now what you don't wanna be doing is knocking them out with some stank breath. So yeah, put those suckers in your bag. Okay, so I spoke about this in other videos before that you wanna make sure that you're eating a hefty meal and you're well hydrated before going to your tattoo appointment. But again, tattoos, they could take hours sometimes and you don't wanna be that person that is starving and thirsty as hell in that tattoo chair. So you wanna make sure that you bring not only something to snack on, but also a nice tasty drink. Now I'm not saying to bring a snack that is like messy or takes a little bit to prepare, something that's just easily able to be snacked on. I think, I think that made sense. I would suggest bringing something like cookies or my personal favorite is those little mini Pop-Tarts or just regular Pop-Tarts because of all the sugar in them. You wanna make sure that your sugar levels are up when you're going to get your tattoo because if they are low, chances are you will most likely pass out. And also if you pass out, your tattoo artist is not gonna finish the tattoo and then your beat. So keep that in mind. And as far as the drinks go, I always bring two. The first is a nice bottle of water and the second is always like a non-caffeinated drink, like caffeine-free soda or juice. You really don't wanna drink any kind of caffeinated drink realistically 48 hours before your tattoo appointment because it's gonna allow you to bleed much more and that could just be messy and could take the tattoo a lot longer to complete. Okay, so the next essential item that you wanna make sure that you bring to your tattoo appointment is some form of entertainment for yourself. Yes, it is very important to have good conversation with your tattoo artist and building that relationship during the session, but it is also super important to just sit back allow them to work and give yourself time to relax in that tattoo chair. Now my favorite forms of entertainment while getting tattooed is simply just some music and downloading a couple movies. And both of those things can be found on that little thing that we all carry around our cell phones. That's serious. Our smartphones have YouTube, Netflix, literally countless hours of entertainment. And realistically, that's all you need. Now what I'm gonna recommend you do before even going to your tattoo appointment is to make a playlist of not only music that is gonna keep you calm, but also music that is gonna help you get your mind off of the situation. And also what I like to do is to download a movie or two or my favorite TV show right on my phone. Hey, you might not even watch them, but again, it's better to have them than to not. Touching more 
on essential items that you wanna make sure that you bring to your next tattoo appointment, you wanna make sure that you're bringing headphones. Headphones are a must. No matter what kind you have, put them in your bag and make sure you bring them. While watching those movies or listening to that music we talked about earlier, you don't wanna be annoying your tattoo artist while they are trying to work. So put those bad boys in, get lost in your own little world and just relax. And another major plus with having headphones, I know some people hate the buzzing of a tattoo machine. I used to, but now I love it. Those headphones will cancel out that buzzing noise. So you won't even hear that. And from being on your phone for however long you plan on being on and listening to music, watching the movies, you're definitely gonna wanna bring a charger and pro tip, bring a really long charger. And I say bring a long charger because you never know where the closest outlet's gonna be. So having that long charger, you're not really gonna have to worry about much. Now, another major essential item that you're gonna wanna bring to your next tattoo appointment is a nice fluffy pillow. Tattoo shops chairs, they're pretty comfortable for like the first hour. After that, from sitting in that sucker for so long, your body is gonna be super sore. And when your body is super sore, it's gonna be hard to stay still while getting tattooed. I recommend bringing that nice fluffy pillow because you could either sit on it or lay on it, pretty much do whatever you need to do to be as comfortable as possible for sitting in that chair for those long hours. Trust me, it helps. Now that you're all ready to go to your tattoo appointment, the next thing that you need to make sure you know how to do is heal your tattoo. Check out this video right here on how to heal a tattoo properly. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell notification just so you don't miss future videos. And I will see you in the next video, so peace.